Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of the Film Review Show. This is another special guest episode and a special film review show. Um, this week we've been watching Klaus the Forklift Truck Driver, um, or otherwise known as... Bear with me. Forklift Driver with Klaus? Forklift driver Klaus. Um, I'm joined this week by um, special guest critic, film critic Matthew Keller, who's Hello. joined us, and he's just sitting on the left. And uh, Oliver O'Dell, who is. It's, I love you. Sitting. Two well, beers. He's, yeah, he's had a couple of beers. They're looking a bit worse than that, but hopefully he'll um, have something good to say. Hopefully you'll awaken in time to yeah. add something to the review. Uh, all right. Okay, so um, first off, Matt, I'm going to throw this question to you. Uh, what did you think of the film? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's great. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, short and, and snappy, you know, some really good um, side gags. And, um, yeah, it was, it was good. A good laugh. A good laugh. Um, yeah. So, would you say that it's a comedy? Um, it's it's darkly comic. Um, it's I should I should just give them um, the uh, people on their background, uh, but it's just um, it's just kind of a take on the um, on the sort of uh, forklift uh, instructional safety video, and it sort of highlights you know the do's and don'ts, uh, but. A lot of emphasis on the don'ts and uh, you know some of the um, gory and exaggerated uh, consequences that can uh, arise from uh, you know not obeying the H uh, and F laws. Um, and I believe it's German. Yeah. And um, were you surprised that the film was German? Um, well, the um, the title. Um, Fortlift uh, uh, driver Klaus uh, sort of gave me a bit of an inkling that uh, you know, it, it, it might be German. And um, who was your favourite character in the film? Um, my favourite character was um, was uh, Klaus. You know, because he was uh, he was good, a good character actor, a good sort of um, sort of physical comedian as well. You know, the sort of uh, shocked. Uh, overdone facial expressions, you know, were just added to the um, to the sort of slapstick um, gore, sort of uh, horror comedy that uh, balanced it, and um, you know, worked pretty well. And what happened to Klaus? Well, he um, starts off with his head held high, um, you know, just having just a, uh, you know. Uh, Passed his uh, faultless driver test and got his license, uh, but you know he um, he soon discovers the um, consequences of flouting the rules. You know he's he, he, he's a is is a young lad, a bit of a big head. Uh, you know things like yeah, you know nothing can touch me now. I'm a faultless driver, man. You know, but uh, little does he know. Were you surprised that there were so many rules? Um, no. There were um, roughly the uh, same number of rules as what I was expecting, really. And, um, what and a lot, it makes sense. Yeah, you know, a lot of them make sense, don't they? I mean, um, another sort of theme that it touches on is, is peer pressure. Because you're told what the rules are, you know what the rules are. And then, you know, there's always one that says, like, you know, this is easier, it's taking a shortcut. Uh, it, you know, lift me up on the on, on this pallet. Um, you know, it'll get the work done. You know, five minutes quicker or something. But it's not. It isn't worth the risk because yeah, because you know, um, you know, the consequences could be severe or even fatal. Uh, and, and that's why the um, that's why the sort of um, safety rules are in place. 
and uh, and it sort of illustrates it in a in you know in sort of a darkly comic sort of way, but it's still it's still that's still the uh, the message that you take home from the film. You know, don't be reckless. You know, you only get one life to live. Um, what about cats? Cats. Um. Well, you know, the, uh, you, you, you may not know this, but there's uh, there's no saying that goes around saying, you know, cats have, uh, have nine lives. Yeah, and what about a cat if it, that was operating the forklift? If a cat was operating the forklift, um, well, it would be quite irresponsible to um, to give a cat um, control of a forklift, even if it did prove itself to be competent and, uh, and gain a license. <laughs> um, I, think, I, I think, you know... They just they just sort of regard it as an incredible fluke, rather than to grant the cat a license because um, you you never know how it might behave when it was uh, in charge of the forklift and uh, you know the um, the burden of responsibility you know if there were any sort of um, injuries or accidents or malpractice would fall squarely on the shoulders of the um, immediate supervisor of, of of the cat. Um. <clears throat> Would a dog be able to help it along? Um, work up a buddy system. Work up a buddy system. I mean, yeah, that's that's something to consider. But you, you, you know, I think um, I think it would be necessary to have someone else in place to keep a very watchful eye over both. And uh, you know. So someone in charge of watching the dog who's watching the cat. Yeah. But who's watching the person who's watching the dog watching the cat? Um, their um, line manager. The line manager, who yeah. would be the, presumably the granddad or uncle. Um, yes. So, Klaus, dann lass uns die Kommission mal fachgerecht ins Hochregal einstapeln. Den Gabelstapler vor der Stapelfläche in Position bringen, Gabelsinken einführen und die Last anheben. Sag mal, hast du mein Messer irgendwo gesehen? Ah, ah. Wo habe ich das Ding hingelegt? Dann langsam vorfahren und die Last absetzen. Great. And um, <coughs> was it the first German film that you've seen? Um, I'm not. I'm sure it's not, but I can't think of any others. Um, are you slightly concerned that maybe that's what all German films are going to be like? No, I think, um, you know, I've not seen many German films, but I, I do have the idea, you know, it, 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 they'd be quite varied, you know, they'd have like comedies or ones that were quite serious and uh, maybe ones that were a bit sad. Would you recommend this film to someone else? Um, it depends who that person is. What if it was someone who'd probably liked the film? Um, then yeah, I would I would recommend that. And if he weren't, if if they weren't someone, uh, if they weren't if they weren't someone, you know, if there's someone that were quite um, sensitive and you know easily shocked and you know a bit squeamish, I might say, um, uh, you know, they, you know, they sort of came to me and said, like, I've heard about this film, um, uh, Klaus Fortless Driver. You know, uh, shall I give it a watch? I said, no, you know, you're a little bit squeamish. You know, it, it can be quite. Violent, even though it's you know quite comedic, you, know, it, you might not like it. Maybe um, you prefer to watch um, Four Weddings and a Funeral. The second one. Yeah. Um, would you watch it again? Um, yeah, I think you know. Yeah, because well, you know it's it's only it's only nine minutes long, and uh, and, and you know there might have been a couple of side gags that I missed the first time around and um, it was a funny little film I'm glad I watched it, it was good um, Final question Matt um, well actually a penultimate question yeah. um, what would you give the film out of 10? 
I would give it um, uh, f seven uh, seven limbs up then. Um, so that's three and a half out of five. Yeah. Okay, and finally, is there anything else that you'd like to add or say about the film? Um, it, it does. It, it does. It does kind of bring to mind uh, a little anecdote. Um, just just about a, a story that you know. I was on the training course and someone sort of regaled me with a sort of um, story about horsing about in, in the workplace. Um, that, and you know, workplace banter can sometimes go um, a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know, I like sort of locking uh, locking a coworker in a in a porter cabin or a, or a, or a porter toilet for a weekend. You know, is is, is just a little bit. It's just a joke too far, mm -hmm. uh, and and you know, the, you know the, the the rules are not in place. You know, just just to um, to sort of sort of bring people down. You know, they are they are there for a reason. Okay, great. Um, so guys, um, just want to say thanks for for watching. Um, yeah. This review, in fact, is actually longer than the film itself, so it'd be probably be quite a nice accompaniment to to the film. Yeah. Um, so um, I do suggest that you watch the film first. Yeah, if you can, guys, um, and you're watching this, maybe best to turn off now, um, watch the film, and then probably watch the rest of this review, um, or watch it the whole yeah. review again after you've finished watching hey. the film. Wake, <laughs> wake up, Ollie. I'm sorry about that, Ollie. Oh. Um, do you have any um, thing you'd like to say about the film? Yeah, it was. Cause oh, it was it was funny in in bits. Um, it's it's not really like that. I mean, the fault if like probably what really happened is you know they just sort of um, break their arm or something, or you know they they wouldn't they wouldn't sort of uh, run all over the place and impale everyone on the shop floor. Well, that wouldn't really happen. It wasn't very realistic. If I one criticism of all the film is that it wasn't really a realistic depiction of um, a warehouse environment. Okay, thanks Ali. Uh, um, so you don't ask me how, how much I give it. What would you give it Ollie? I'd give it 5 out of 10, we'll, we'll watch it again. So that's 2.5 out of 5? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right. Um, so guys, as I say, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning into this review of um, forklift truck driver, forklift driver, Klaus the forklift driver. Um, great <coughs> film, um, great having you here Matt and Ollie uh, for this review show. I um, think we're nearly up to the 20th episode, um, so that would be great. When we get to 25 we may even do um, a review of the, the all the film review shows that we've um, done. Um, who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like uh, the video. Um, subscribe down below. Maybe chuck in a comment and suggest some films that we could watch. Okay, thanks and see you next week.